Hello everybody YouTube, I thought I'd do a little quick video showing you how to do your XYZ zeroing. It's pretty simple. Of course, you put your probe block in the corner. You also have to set up your router bit into the collet. Once you do that, Hold on a second, let me tighten her down. Ooh, sorry. Ugh, there, sorry about that. I put my stand away. So, in doing that, I always get my dust collection out of the way as much as possible. And then I go to my red setting on my controller because I don't want it to go super fast. The yellow setting is just a little too fast. So, get it going, get it down there, get it close. And I use my quarter inch bit because, um, My one inch bit, I don't like using that, using that for a setting, just because it's so big. Quarter inch and eighth inch is just so much easier. So, now, since I'm close, I will set my blue, which is slow. Yes, slow. Yeah, sorry, I'm a Midwesterner. We sound funny. And go down, so you get it right in the middle of that circle there. As close as possible, not on top of it. And there. It's in that position. Now you come over here and you hit probe XYZ. And then it's going to say touch your bit. Bit touched. Connect the magnetic strip to it. Sorry, you should connect your magnetic strip, then touch it so it grounds out. Now it says continue. So I'll hit continue. It says Diameter a bit, 6.35, that's a quarter inch in standard from metric or imperial. So yes, that's what it is. And start. And then I like to hold it still because sometimes your wood is not perfectly flat or anything else. It takes a little bit you know, going back and forth. Sometimes I like to have the settings maybe change a little bit so it's a little faster, but 150 people are pretty smart. They uh, know how to set up all their stuff, so I trust them a hundred. And then it hits the corner there. Pull the board out, pull the magnet off. I just set it off the side here. I don't have that fancy tray. Um, I don't have a 3D printer, otherwise I would do it. Then it says probing complete. Don't forget to pull away the probe. Done. And as you see, right in the corner, and then I can come back over here and hit Z0, confirm, there's the bit. It is literally right in the corner of the board, as you can see. Now, you're like, well, it's up in the air. Well, if you notice, there's a bow in my board. That's why it's not touching the board. See that? So I need to set it to the middle to get the right Z height to start off. So what you do is you've got your X and Y, go back to your joystick, hit red because you got to go a little faster than blue. And of course first lift the bit up a little bit. Move it to where you want, which the highest point I saw was right about there. And raise it up. Then also, you change a bit. So hang on a second. So this is the bit that I'm using, my surfacing bit. I've got my X and I got my Y. So now I can just come right here and do my Z. And it'll tell me what that highest point is on my board. 
So, of course, you gotta set it a little bit closer to center. I like to always use and get it closer to it. Then you come back over here and you hit probe Z. It's gonna say test probe connection, attach the probe magnet to the collet. Yes. Touch the probe block to the bit. This grounds it off and says, okay, we have connection. Now it says, attach probe magnet to the collet, which I did already. Touch the probe, and then it says continue, which means it's gonna start automatically because it's only doing up and down, you don't have to hold anything. So I'm gonna hit continue. And it goes down, touches, and it's going to do it one more time just to make sure. And now it's set for that exact spot where I put it, the high spot of my black walnut. So when I do my surfacing, it's going to start at that height. So the first pass, it's only going to do a little bit in the middle. And the rest of it, it's going to, you know, miss until it gets to that depth. But by doing that, you're not going to hit a pocket where you're going to be like three times as deep if you start it back in the corner here where it's really low. Now, I'll probably do this uh, code two or three times because I don't like to set it up for like a deep depth and doing long code. One, it's a shorter code, it's easy. You just go back to zero, reset your Z height again, and do it again, boom. Takes maybe 10 minutes tops, if that, to flatten both sides of this board with that bit. And then I have a perfectly flat board, which I can put back down, and then I can cut my curvature board. So hopefully this is a, a, a little more information for you, for the the new people starting off this machine, don't be scared. Just take your time, practice, and anybody can run these machines once you know your feeds and speeds and what for what you're creating. Take care, guys.